Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I've got my vintage handbag collection. So this is a video that I've wanted to do for a while just to see sort of where I stand now versus where I might be in the future. It's a little bit like a time capsule as well, kind of like my luxury wish list video, but I wanted to just run through these because I've got a few new ones lately and one of them I actually just wore this past weekend, but I just love vintage handbags. I think that they're so fun and especially like a vintage vibe is really sort of trending at the moment. So if you did want to get your hands on one similar to these then you could probably find them in like vintage stores Etsy shops even there are a lot of amazing vintage handbag resellers on Etsy so if you did want to check those out I'll have some links to some of my favorite Etsy shops below but please stay tuned I think you're really gonna like them this is the first one and I just think that it could not be any cuter it's in this like light turquoise -y satin fabric with silver hardware. The hardware is in incredible condition. It's super, super shiny. It comes obviously with this crossbody strap and I just think that the shape of it could not be any cuter. I haven't actually worn this one yet. I think it's just like so precious. I'm getting married this September and I was thinking like I could use this as my something blue even, but you know me in a white handbag and I think I just, I would be kicking myself later on if I didn't use a white handbag on my wedding day, but I just think that this is the absolute cutest. I just love the size of it. It's obviously also super structured, which I love. And I'll just show you the inside. The top just pops open by just moving this little top sort of button back a little bit. And inside there's just one zip compartment in the middle and then two open spaces. And because it is black, I think that's probably the only thing that I would change about it just because it can be a little bit hard to see items inside, but because it's so small, you're not gonna be carrying too much in this anyway, but this is my first one and I just love it. This is also like the only color that you're gonna see, so take advantage now. <laughs> this next one is another new one. I actually just got it for my birthday, which was in June, and I just loved this little, it kind of looks like a little bird's nest with these little pearls on top. I just think it's so cute, but I actually did get it from an Etsy shop. I found it on Etsy, then told my sister and she was the one that ended up getting it for me. I just love obviously white and gold and I love the texture of it. I think it's just, it adds so much like extra dimension to an outfit. And then obviously because it has gold hardware, like it was just, I just loved it for that reason. Um, and it's another one that has the same sort of opening. So it just, this top part flips back and then it opens just like this. The only thing with this one is that it's super thin. So there's not a lot that you can get in here. So this is the type of bag that I'd wear like if I'm going out to dinner, for example, and just need to take like a couple cards, ID, that sort of thing. This is the one that I would take, but I just think that it couldn't be any cuter and it's gonna go with so many different summer outfits that I have. So this is one that's definitely gonna be like super easily integrated into my closet and wardrobe. So, so excited to wear it. This next one is obviously not a purse, it's a wallet, but it's such a cute wallet. I actually, I thrifted this one and then on the inside, similar to another one that I'll show you, it has this little tag right here and it says Whiting and Davis. And if you don't know who that is, um, it's actually a brand that's still sold in Nordstrom and something like this would go for, I think around $85 or so. And I picked it up for just a couple bucks. So I thought that was a great find, but the thing with this sort of material it's like this sort of metal mesh with they almost look like sequins on it but the trick to finding a really good one I mean if you see Whiting and Davis is the brand then you can guarantee that it's gonna be like of some value but with this one what you want to check for when you're finding something like this and I'll show you in another bag too this gold metal mesh overlay should be kind of loosely hanging on the bag. So if it's too tight or obviously if it's made of plastic, it's not going to be as good of quality as the one that's properly metal. This is one that I actually think is kind of hard to integrate into my wardrobe because I'm just scared of damaging it if it's in a bag or if I'm pulling things out quickly. I wouldn't want to scratch it at all. I was just happy to get it anyway because even if I get a couple wears out of it, I'm going to be happy. Would go really well when I'm wearing other jewelry 
jewelry pieces that are in a gold tone or an outfit that has that in it. I just think that this would be a really great accent. So I'm definitely happy that I picked this up. So this is another Whiting and Davis little top handle bag and I think it's so cute. It's not in the best condition. You can see that there are definitely some scratches along where the mesh ties into uh, this top bar piece but nevertheless I think it's so cute and again like this is a piece that I would wear if it's more of a fancy event. This is not something that I would wear on the daily. I mean you could if you wanted to but see how the mesh sort of like hangs loosely here. That's what I was getting at for the last one. This just shows that it's a better quality and it should be a little bit heavier. This is just something to look for if you were looking to get something like this one. But I think that it's so cute. And even though silver is not normally what I go for, I tend to stick to gold for any metal accents and really anything that I'm wearing, whether it's a piece of clothing or a purse, but I couldn't pass this one up. Again, it was definitely on the more affordable side, and even if I get just a couple wears out of it, I'll be happy. I think that I could definitely do that this summer. If I wear like an all black outfit and then just have this, I think it would be so cute. This little white fur clutch bag can be definitely used as a wallet. It's got like the two little prongs here that you just twist to have it open and the inside is in really, really good condition. This is another vintage find. Obviously, all of these are, but I just think that this is the cutest ever. I love white, I love fur, so when I saw this, I was just like so happy to be able to take it home with me. But you could wear this as a little clutch bag and just take this out. If you're going out just for a night to a nice restaurant or something, this is definitely something that I would take instead of carrying a full bag. I think it's just kind of a nice breath of fresh air for a change to just take something really little, something like this clutch and again with the gold hardware and the white I just really don't think that you can go wrong. This next one I love so much. I actually wore it to my very first ever fashion week in Toronto which was fall winter 2019 and I loved it. This I wore with a bomb on blazer and leather leggings and I just think that it's so fun. I love the shape of it, how it's like this cute little clamshell and I think I kind of want to get one in white obviously, but I just think a white beaded clamshell little like kind of flapper bag. I don't know if that's exactly what you would consider this style to be, but in my head that's kind of what it is. Um, it fits like the perfect amount, cards obviously, lipstick, a compact maybe, definitely not your phone, but just little like odds and ends and it's just the perfect accent to any sort of black outfit and it does have like a little bit of clear beading running through it. So it's not silver, it's not gold, but it can basically go with any other accessories that you're wearing because the beading on it is clear for these little like stripes going down. I just think that this is the absolute cutest. I'll pop in a picture of me wearing this bag at fashion week. It was so much fun. So whenever I see this bag, I think of that day. This next one I definitely have shown on my channel before. I forget what video it was in, but it's this white beaded square little handbag with a top handle and this super sweet gold beveled edge at the top. I love that about it. This has been so handy. I definitely have used it a few times. I actually did just wear it this weekend. I had a long white sheath dress on and this just complemented it perfectly. I love white on white. I just wore a white the same white cropped blazer that I wore in my last video. I just had that thrown over my shoulders with this as basically my only accessory and I loved it. It really does fit the perfect amount and it's such a statement piece while still being understated. So if you could find something like this, again, Etsy shops are really good for this or a white beaded clamshell purse like the other one. This one has just a top handle, but if you can see at the top here, you could definitely just like switch these out for a crossbody strap or add it in addition to this little top handle one to give you multiple options. But I think it's just so cute and this is I think one of my favorites. Okay, we're nearing the end and this next one is another pretty new one in my collection. It's not a Whiting and Davis, but it looks exactly like those other two with this gold metal mesh on top of it. 
And what got me was this handle. I just love that you could obviously put it on the crook of your arm, but I just think the whole idea of it basically being like an oval is just the sweetest. It definitely does give me more vintage vibes with this sort of shape because we don't see a lot of this kind of just curved handle in bags at the moment they're all like the super chunky chain so i thought that this was a nice little differentiation from what's trending right now this is another one i haven't worn yet it seems like i haven't worn a lot of these but it's kind of hard sometimes to integrate such vintage pieces with like a modern outfit just for a day-to-day -day look but this is one when restaurants properly reopen i would love to take this out for dinner with me i just think it's the cutest so stay tuned for outfit ideas with these this last one i think you've already seen as well so last but not least it's this one from a brand called nadia collezioni and i just think it's so cute it's fabric with just gold thread running through it and the metallics really do just pop whenever it's against like a white outfit for example i just think it's so cute but my favorite way to wear it is like this so more as like a pillow kind of clutch which is definitely a trendy way to wear handbags at the moment it's a good sort of substitute for a more trendy handbag that can be worn that way so instead of having to invest in like the pouch bag or something i'm just gonna use this for now and then if i get enough use out of this then i'll know whether or not it's a trend worth investing in for me sort of a more oversized clutch bag but I just think that it's so cute very simple on the back no extra pockets or anything but this is the last one that I wanted to show you guys so that's it for this video if you did like it please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new I would love to hear which one was your favorite in the comments down below and I'll be sure to read through all of them and get back to you I'm really really hoping to get back to twice a week a video upload so please just bear with me I know right now it's just been once a week but hopefully one on a Wednesday and one on a Sunday, but I'll see you very, very soon in my next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.